Hey beautiful people, today we are visiting Uganda Museum. We are going to start as we are waiting for our tour guide and I can't wait because this is my first time as well. You can experience this with me. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Angela Saman Nambiru from Uganda, East Africa. Today we are going to enjoy our day in the Uganda Museum. Uganda Museum is the oldest museum in East Africa. On my birthday, 3rd June, it is Matters Day. It is a very big important day in my country. I'm not going to tell you a lot because the tour guide is going to tell you so many things today. And also my favorite outfit, bar cloth known locally as Olubugo. If this is your first time to see me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Hi, our tour guide is here, guys. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Ntosi is in the form of a hill. Yeah. That hill is four meters high. So it is called Ntosi. Yeah, it is also near Bigo Biamugeni in Sembabule. Sembabule. Yeah, Sembabule is which side? It's west of Kampala. But when archaeologists excavated that hill, it is four meters high, they found the remains down from the hill, as you see the different layers. Yeah. So the remains are like uh, potteries, they had horns of cows, they had kind of tools, uh, they had uh, grinding stones. Mm -hmm. So uh, the remains are dating the time of the Wachoes people, and the site is close to their capital in Bigo in Sembabule. So they believe this hill was like a rubbish pit. There were choice people who go dumping remains like rubbish, ash, sand, and later formed about a hill. So the remains are also evidence showing that Bachoes we are living and they represent activities in which Bachoes were carrying out. Mm -hmm. So they may have had like potteries, uh, they had iron smelting for tools, they had livestock due to horns, and they had agriculture to get foods for grinding on the stones. Yeah, yeah I know this one. Yeah. So when you look in the background, that's how uh, the site looks. It's now green and agriculture takes on place. Yeah, I see banana. Yes, banana. so it is found in Semba, the west of Kampala. Oh, thank you. And uh, this is Luzilla Head. It is an artifact that was named Luzilla from the area where it was found in 1929 during the construction of the biggest prison in Uganda, the Luzilla Prison. It is made of clay. But in East Africa, we don't have the form of clay in which it is made. The clay is said to be similar to that found in West Africa. So in Uganda, we have different ethnic groups. And one of the ethnic groups is called Bantu. Bantu are said to have come from the Cameroon Highlands. So they believe the Bantus are the ones that came along with this the interior. The Bantus are said to have come here between 10th to 15th century. And it had the name Luzilla from the area of the Luzilla site lies on the shores of Lake Victoria near Kampala. Well, what about the back clothes? Yes, in Uganda, mm. uh, we have different clans, yeah. and each clan had a role that it could play within the kingdom of Uganda, yes. and it could have an area in which it settled and controlled. So the area in which this artifact was found, the Ruzilla site, it belonged to the clan of the Ota. Ota. The Ota were being onge, a being being onge, onge, the yeah. Ota clan. So them. the Ota were responsible for back cloth making, so that's why you have that impression of bark cloth. The cloth is got from back of the ficus tree. It's called bark cloth, and the tree is the ficus. The local name of the tree is called mutuba, mutuba, and the local name of the cloth is called lubugo. Lubugo, I love lubugo, and I have an outfit in lubugo. Yes. Okay, nice. Then this is a map trying to archaeological sites. There are over 100,000. We have some archaeological remains down. The smoking pipes for tobacco. The cowl shells, the fast money, the grinding stones, broken potteries, these are all archaeological remains from different sites. And uh, their excavation is in the progress, some of the sites. And then uh, there are a few illustrations of charcoal production, one of the activities, as well as iron smelting, the tool, the barrels for iron smelting. And then uh, we have a map of Uganda, and the map is showing different sites of the country. Yeah. yeah wherever in different sites yeah so there is a key on the left um, yes it's trying to show the different sites like around Kampala um, we have um, 
sites is a map down around Lake Victoria is a map of Kampala. There is Kasubi tombs. Kasubi tombs is where they keep remains of kings of Buganda at Kasubi tombs. And then uh, it is also a UNESCO heritage site. It's the biggest grass thatched house in the world. There is Mengo Palace. Mengo Palace is the official residence of the king of Buganda. And uh, we also have um, the biggest Catholic church, Lubaga Cathedral. We have the biggest Protestant church, Namirembe Cathedral. And we also have uh, the biggest mosque, Old Kampala, Gaddafi Mosque. And uh, we have Namugongo Matters Memorial. If you've heard of Uganda Matters. I was born on that. Of June, June on yes. the Matters Day. Yes. So they make pilgrims to that site for origins on 3rd of June, on your birthday. Oh, yeah. And so we have 10 safari parks. Have you been to any of the safari parks? We have different ones. This is Lake Mburo. One of I the was closest. there, yes. Okay, and uh, here you can see zebras, giraffes, uh, buffaloes, hippos, different antelopes. You can also have a chance to see the biggest of the antelope family, which is called the island. Yeah. And then you have Mugahinga, and in Mugahinga is close to Rwanda, and the border to Rwanda, and then Congo, and this Bwindi. There are mountain gorillas in Bwindi and Mugahinga. And there. Bwindi is also a UNESCO heritage site. It hosts over half of the world mountain gorillas. Mountain gorillas are only found in Uganda, Congo, and Rwanda. So Bindi has over half of the world population. Oh. And then we have Queen Elizabeth National Park. Yeah, you know that one, yes. Okay, then uh, this is famous for the cats as well. You can yeah, have yeah. a chance to see the climbing lions. Yes. And then we have Chivale Forest. There are some primates like chimpanzees in Chivale. And we have the highest mountain, Renzori which is also uh, has a snow-capped peak and is a UNESCO site, 5,190 meters high above sea level. There is a uh, Semuliki forest and Machishan Falls. This is the biggest national park in Uganda, Machishan Falls. I was there okay. last year. All right, so those are also said to be the most powerful waterfalls in the world, Machishan Falls. That's true. And then uh, we have Chidepo Valley in the northeastern Uganda in Kalamoja. Yeah, Valley National Park. Yes, yeah, too. Oh wow! And then we have Mount Elegon, the second highest mountain after Renzori. Jesus so that's Christ. a map of Uganda. Yeah. It's showing different sites. Thank you so much, and guys. Did you know these things? Come and see them. So and then um, the map there is trying to show evolution of the boundaries of Uganda. Yeah. So Uganda is just as in the white patterns. Uh, presently, but before 1926, they were just territories within ethnic kingdoms and tribes. There wasn't like national boundaries as uh, United Country Uganda, and this evolved.